Yo, what's up? It's your boy King Roshi back with pull and play number three. Here we go. This time, let's see who we get. And guys, by the way, I would love it if you guys tell me what, how you would use whatever specific character it is that I pull in each pull and play. I feel like that would be a really cool idea just to hear what you guys actually think about the characters. Here you can see we get a few two stars, a few three stars. Would you guys like to actually see me use uh, the three stars? So take for instance, if I do a pull and play or if I do a summoning and the best thing that I get is just a three star or a two star, would you guys like to see me actually use those two stars and three stars? Because not all of them obviously, but just like the one who I think is the best in that pool until it gets to a point where I have used every two star and three star. By the way, there you go, Tony Tony Chopper. We got the we got the happy holiday version, which honestly is not that bad. I will not do it justice in this video, but that is not that bad, and he's really good in a lot of boss battle content. Extremely good. Especially for a blue unit, you don't have a ton of variety in terms of that that do multiple hits. So, this is what I will say. In both of the gameplays, my team was just not good. It just wasn't good. I wasn't making the best plays of all time or anything like that, but they were not doing me any favors at all, for the most part. There may, they may have been one or two uh, players on each individual team that actually did do well, and score doesn't reflect that. A lot of the time, score just doesn't reflect that. If you want a high score, just use a defender, or it's pretty much just use a defender if you want a high score, or be a no brain kind of killer which is like roger and characters like roger just to throw that out there so firstly this is what i would say about this happy holidays tony tony chopper his skill i'm gonna say skill two <laughs> i think it's skill two the one where he you'll see it here this skill that skill is his strongest skill obviously it can destroy a lot of different people the problem is those people usually will see it coming so you want to kind of do it out of the way out of range you want them not to know that you're doing it that's really difficult to do because a lot of you're an attacker with this character so your main objective should be destroying defenders and the reason the thing that you want to do the most as an attacker is destroy defenders when they're on their own flag is just because you get a boost. You get a very large boost when you're destroying defenders on their own flag. And not just defenders, but anybody in their own flag area. So if you're an attacker, go after them. If you're a defender, stay in your area. Please, just stay in your area, defend your area, because if they come to you, they're at a disadvantage unless they're an attacker. And when they're an attacker, because you're in your own area, you're likely closer to somebody that can actually help you. And staying in your area does more good than bad. So something else about this chopper, his skill to his ability to actually pour the chemicals together and then make the explosion, that is incredibly valuable when you're trying to knock somebody off of a point or when you're trying to just knock somebody away from somebody else. Or just, you know, it's a lot of different things that you can do with that use your noggin i'm sure all of you can actually find a way to use that do i recommend this character as a character that you use in pvp that's a big fat no just do not use this character in pvp it's just not really worth it now well what i will say is use him like around the holidays or something you know just use that's something that i really would love to see when it's around christmas or you know just when it's even snowing or something like that use these kind of characters when it's colder outside use winter characters because that's just part of the theme right i really wish that they would provide some kind of boost where hey if it's summer use the bikini characters or hey if it's winter use the holiday the happy holiday you know christmas themed or uh, winter themed characters because that would be really cool and it doesn't just have to be 
specifically winter theme it could just be characters that come from that kind of a climate as well <clears throat> as well so any chopper there would be wobble there would be uh, well, they aren't in the game yet hopefully they will be one day but you guys get the picture i think you guys get the picture and who knows to me that would just boost the idea of the game itself that would make the game more fun because it would lead to funner interactions where okay now you're playing up against say frankie or you're playing up against and when i say frankie i mean specifically i guess just any frankie because frankie can just withstand the cold right and then like it will be up against and there's even a happy holiday frankie that i forgot about like that frankie specifically then and you could go up against the happy holidays robin or this happy holidays chopper that would be extremely fun in my opinion i feel like there would be a lot of different cool things to farm there and it just needs there just needs to be more in terms of that kind of content like right now i don't how, how do we not have more summer themed things like i don't know some kind of summer themed luffy that would probably sell just because it's luffy I don't know guys, that's it for me, I'm out, peace.